idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I'd like to welcome you to this weekend update video where I am going to teach you, I'm going to give you the proof of something I've been trying to teach you all along in almost every video that I, that I, that I create for you, and I have run into that problem, but I'll get to that in just a moment. First of all, happy weekend, but I want you to remember, it's Memorial Day weekend, and even though we say happy Memorial Day weekend, we got to remember, this weekend, Memorial Day, was established for those who gave their lives so that we can have what we have. So even though we're going to enjoy time with family and relax a bit, take a moment and reflect back on what some people had to go through in order to give us what they've given us. And for those of you who have served in the services, you know, this is from me to you. Thank you. So with that, I want to roll on with the weekend video and a couple things I want to show you. Number one is a gift I got in the mail. Number two, I want to show you th this problem and why you got to do what I tell you what I teach you what you should be doing with your CNC router. First of all, I want to show you a couple things that came in the mail from Marvin. Come on over here. You know, let's just move down here and look at this. So Marvin, one of our CNC brothers, sent me this, this uh, plaque here, a, a tile, and he laser engraved a picture of me on it. Isn't that cool? And the, the detail is so fine. I love this kind of stuff. You know, I get things in the mail. He sent me a couple of pens that he made. This one here is kind of a barrel, uh, a bolt action type of pen. And you just kind of move the bolt there and, and the pen comes out. And then the other one that is ultra, ultra cool, one is made out of rifle cartridges. This looks like 30 odd six. Uh, a little smaller than 30 odd. But man, these things are so, so cool. So here I want to show you what I've been trying to teach you all along. Now on the Phantom here, I've been setting up this big ass beam piece of maple so that I could surface it with the ultra fine surfacing bit. And I should be using a bigger surfacing bit, but I don't have the room and my Z in order to do that. But besides, I really want to put this surfacing bit to work. This is the one and a half inch ultra fine surfacing bit that I just got back in stock. They keep selling out. So if you want that, you might want to go down in the description and pick one up. But I also am going to run the new CNC router bit that we've got at IDC Woodcraft called the Beast, which has not been released yet. I want to run it through maple at a thousand inches per minute. It's like that is like burning rubber when you're doing stuff like that. And my long mill is not capable of a thousand inches per minute, but the Phantom is. But you see, I got my shroud off of the Phantom and a bunch of tools laying around because I ran into a problem. Now, I've told you many, many times, every time you take your collet off, you want to clean out the collet and you want to clean out the collet nut, right? So the collet and the collet nut. Well, as I was putting this bit back in, I was screwing the collet up onto the spindle and about half, about two thirds of the way up as it normally would be, it started to feel a little funny. And I wasn't sure, but I kept going because it didn't feel that bad, but when I tried to take this back off because I had to adjust my Z a little bit and move the tool up a little bit more, you can see I got a little bit of a problem here. My threads are messed up on my spindle. This is not a good problem to have because you know, we've got a high speed spindle here and in order to fix this, I either need to send this out for repair or or I need to buy a new spindle. Now I'm trying to zoom this thing out. And it also screwed up the nut. Trying to get this off after that happened is uh, it, literally we had to use a cheater bar in order to get this nut loose. So something was down inside of there in the nut that I wasn't able to blow out or I didn't see what have you and it caused this kind of a problem. This is almost the worst problem you can have because you can see there's quite a bit of material that has been lost on that thread. 
Fortunately, I can repair this thread and the nut goes almost all the way up to here, which grabs onto these threads as well. So I believe I'll be able to keep on running, but I won't know until I get it fixed. So I've got a couple of new nuts coming in and I've got a tap and die. I got a tap and die set coming too in case I need to fix that up. But if I can't, then I'm gonna have to take that off and I'm either gonna have to replace the spindle, replace the spindle shaft, something like that. But the point of the matter is, is whenever you take that uh, a router bit out, you always, always, always need to clean out the collet and the nut before you put another router bit in. It's not just because that can the sawdust that gets up in there can create slippage. In this case, there was a piece of metal or something. I'm not sure why this happened because it happened well after I screwed the uh, the uh, the collet nut up. I don't know what, I don't know, but I got the problem. You gotta clean these things out every time to avoid problems like that. So this is, I'm so serious about this, obviously. With that, have a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you have time with family. Honor that time because this is Memorial Day weekend. And with that, we're gonna bid you adieu. I'm gonna go down and see my family. We will talk to you later. IDCWoodcraft.com